telling me your dog ate your homework? Not my dog. Bobby G's my grandfather. He ate it. This is a good one, even for you. But it's true. How, pray tell, did your grandfather wind up eating a diorama? Popcorn. Yeah, this should be good. When I finished the diorama, I put it in the oven overnight to dry, and then when oh, I... Oh, do go on. Meet Mrs. Rowland, the strictest teacher in school. No matter where I stand, I always end up on her bad side. See, my family has a way of getting in between me and my homework. And no matter how hard I try to explain things to her, she just thinks I'm an excuse machine. If only there was a way to get her to understand. And by the time I'd gone downstairs, he had already eaten both Upper and Lower Canada. This is the last straw. You must know what I'm going to say to this. Boy, do I ever. No excuses. No excuses! And then for emphasis... But Mrs. Rowland, you have the wrong idea about me. You don't get it. Then enlighten me, Indy. There must be some way you can help me to get it. This is How to Get Got. This is how her mind made up about me. There's no way to change it. Especially what happened after homeroom. Not true. So Babaji ate your homework. He's full now. Maybe on the next assignment you can... No! It's the, the egg, egg unit. unit. Oh, I've been waiting for this all year. Only a total loser could fail this one. Talk about a total grade grab. Yeah, maybe for you guys. Oh, come on. How could your family mess this one up? Besides scrambling, frying, poaching, and hard boiling. Come on, treating an egg like it's a baby? Have you met her parents? A pretend baby? Before a pretend marriage? You tell your teacher no, and you be sure to make a face at her like this. How am I gonna tell Mrs. Roland I'm already at the last straw? Huh, you need another straw? Meet your next assignment, class. A simple, delicate egg that you will... Oh. Excuse me a moment. Um. Before we get started on the egg parenting unit, I'd like you to welcome a new student to our class, Todd Tash. Todd Tash? My neighbor? Come in. Todd is being considered for acceleration and is trying the eighth grade this week. And even though the egg parenting unit is the easiest gimme assignment of the year, I need one of you to volunteer instead to be a student ambassador to Todd. Show him around and keep him out of trouble this week. He'll be your egg. Another straw. Me, 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 me. Anyone? Uh, anyone at all? I'll do it. I'll do it. This isn't a diorama. He's a person. Babaji doesn't eat the neighbors. Well. I will not let you down, I promise. You better not, Indy. I will tolerate no, no excuses. I know. Come on, Todd. You and me will have a great time together. As for the rest of you, partner up and pick up an A. Psst, Abby. You will check them in daily, and if I detect even the slightest crack in the egg, that is an F. Abby. Abby. Marlin. What's up? So, are we egg partners or what? Sure. It's only 45% of our final grade. What could go wrong? If you don't have a partner for the egg project yet, I'm wide open. Oh, sorry, John, the one with Abby. Oh, she's being such a stress case about it. That can't be healthy. Oh, my feelings exactly. She needs to stop taking things so seriously. So you'll be giving her a crash course in chillaxin? 
Well, I can at least give her a crash course in having fun. Now that's my kind of assignment. Nice. Okay, Todd, this is gonna be a blast. I wish I had had somebody to show me the ropes of eighth grade. This is the lunchroom. Who are you talking to? Todd! I'm just showing him. Todd? Todd! Is your hair that way on purpose? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do not mess with Carlos Martinelli. Here, sit. Wear it safe. Are you sure it's better here? She looks like she's really mad at her salad. No. No, this is Abby. She's harmless. What's in here? Put the egg down, unless you want to smell celery for a long, long time. <laughs> okay, Todd, <laughs> just sit and meet quietly for a minute. What is up with you? Well, I'm glad your new assignment's working out, but now I'm partnered with a ticking time bomb. Is that your lunch that smells like feet? Todd, a little tip. Do not insult the yearbook editor. She gets her revenge with captions. That's tough, Ab. Sometimes Marlon drives me up a wall. He can't take anything seriously. Yeah, but you have to accept him. He's never going to change. Not as long as he keeps getting away with stuff. Marlon, what's going on? I thought we were dishing on me. No, I mean, where's Todd? Oh, I saw him down the hallway, asking some football player about his IQ. What? Todd? Todd? <clears throat> How did you get in there? <clears throat> oh, garbage guy. I asked him if he only smelled bad when he was working or at home, too. You're supposed to be my ticket out of trouble, not my next crazy excuse. <sighs> Wait, does it seem quiet? Too quiet? I was asking. I don't want to hear. Let's just get through the rest of our day with our heads intact. Abby, I've given this a lot of thought. The egg needs its daddy. Who's going to play catch with it? Who's going to teach it to shave? Give it up. You're not going to get this egg until it hatches into a fluffy little A+. Plus. Really? Well, we'll see about that. What do you mean, we'll see about that? Merlin? Merlin! Abby, help! Abby, help! Marlin! What happened? Arm caught. Help! Open the door. Uh, sure, let me just... I can hold that. Marlin! Aha! Hairline fracture. <laughs> Failed. Where's our egg? Abby and Marlin, thank you for bringing your eggs so early. You pass. And the two of you? Any detentions? Any property damage? Anything broken? Just my spirit. <laughs> well, you also pass. For now, class, finish your progress reports and retrieve your eggs. The next inspection is tomorrow, and I expect them to be in perfect condition. Or else. Indy, the internet says an egg can take 41 pounds of pressure before it breaks. Do you think that's true? Not now, Todd. Can you lay off the questions for two minutes? How are you holding up? Exhausted. This kid's a walking disaster. I can't take my eye off him for one second. <gasps> Was that our eggs? That not everything you read on the internet is true. Go! I could fix this, you know. <sighs> Haven't you fixed enough already? The whole class is out to get you. Hi, Andy. Oh, John Lou. So nice to see a friendly face. Thanks. I'm really sorry about this, Todd, but I'm supposed to ask you to move a little to your right. What? Why? Just a little more. I'm really sorry about this. How's that, guys? 
We have got to be more careful. Trust no one. Is there a problem? Um, what? No, everything is <laughs> a-okay. Okay, now stick close to me, Todd. Todd? Oh, no. Hey, Todd, uh, do me a favor and rub this butter on your shoulders. Okay, what for? So you'll fit. <gasps> we are getting you out of here. Okay. Phew, <laughs> I'm beat. Why do you smell so outside-y? Big lunch break with my little man. Me and Eglet hit the roller coasters, and then the water slide park. Oh, and then we played a little bit of Norwegian rules football. No padding, no helmet, no mercy. So this is what blind rage feels like. After the game, I was so tired, I left him in the kitchen with my mom while I had a nap. Didn't I, little fella? Oh. Oh? What do you mean by oh? Your mom made an egg salad out of my A+. That stinks! Actually, it smells pretty good. <laughs> Give me the egg. <laughs> Psych! <sighs> We're safe in here, so long as the doors hold. AJ, what are you doing home? Once again, the stomach flu hit just in time for UFO week. What are the odds? Do your parents only shop at garage sales? Did you see the news? There's this angry mob out there with signs that say, Get Todd. I'd hate to be that kid. Oh no, I hope Mrs. Roland doesn't watch the news. Hello? Have you seen what's on the news? Mrs. Roland! Where is Todd? Todd is with me, he's safe and sound. Nothing to worry about Why here. Why did I just see his face on a wanted poster? A wanted poster? Yes. Oh, that's silly stuff. Just harmless fun. We need to have a meeting. A meeting? Yes. Yes? Right now? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll be there in 10 minutes. I gotta go. Mrs. Roland wants to hold a meeting to How much change do you think is in your coat? Todd, shush. Listen, you have to stay down here. Stay here. It's not safe for you anywhere else. If you step outside, you're a preteen pinata. Because one time I found Todd, a... just sit and have fun. There's food, board games, laundry. I'll be back as soon as I can. AJ, do not let him out of your sight. How's it going with Todd? Great! Peachy. <laughs> Couldn't be better. You can cut the act, I've heard the rumors. Oh. I don't know what he's done to turn the entire class against him, but so far I've confiscated dozens of water balloons, several cans of paint, and one very confused-looking chipmunk. Mm -hmm. All with Todd's name on them. It's just a big mistake. Todd's sweet. Sweet? The chipmunk tells a different story. He is. I mean, he's really annoying, sure, but it's just because he's so curious that he steps in it all the time. You just don't get him. Like I don't get you. Exactly. Indy, I'm sorry, but I believe that as much as I believe your diorama story. So turn this around. No excuses. No problem. <sighs> no clue. <laughs> Hey, Abs. Time to take Eglit for a power walk. Can't. Studying. Oh, come on. You can take a little break for some good old-fashioned family fun time. Fun? I won't be having fun for a long time. I'll need some major grades to make up for the F you're going to get us in family studies. Come on, Abby. It was just a joke. A joke! You thought it was funny, didn't you? like your mother. Todd? Listen, we can start over. I kind of... Todd? AJ? Where's Todd? He was here a little while ago. How little a while ago? Oh, about 23 pages. So anything could have happened to him. I wouldn't worry about it. He got like 20 calls while he was here from his friends. He's probably just having lunch with one of them. AJ. Todd doesn't have friends. He has an angry mob after him with chipmunks. They must have lured him out and gotten him.
what's the plan? Looking for the crowd with the pitchforks and torches? Abby, be serious. If we don't find him fast, Todd's in big trouble. And if Mrs. Roland finds Todd before I do, I'm in big trouble. So what do we do? I need you to round up everyone who has it up for Todd so I can question them. Everyone? But that's like the entire school, possibly the whole planet. I think he even angered some astronauts. Have you seen this kid? No, but if you see him, tell him I've got a surprise for him. What did you do with him? Does it look like we caught him? Okay, Indy, I'm gonna need you to move a little to your right. I'm really sorry about this. Come on, Martinelli, we both know you have it up for Todd. Look, I already checked all of my traps. Even if I did get him, he must gnaw his way free. Oh. Abby, I've come to apologize. I've been a pain. I was wrong to risk your grade just so I could have a little fun. I've heard it before, Marlon. This is standard apology speech number 43. No, I'm serious. You've been the responsible one. I think you should have the privilege of handing him in. Right. And just what would I be handing in? Chocolate Easter egg, egg drop soup, egglet over easy. Easy, yeah. That's our A plus in there. Sure it is. Or maybe it's some stink bomb that will get both of us an F. Abby, don't. Only one way to find out. No, Abby, no. Hold no. your noses, everyone. No, no. <sighs> then again, I could be wrong. Todd? Todd? This is all my fault. I didn't understand him. I didn't listen to him. Now I'll never get to hear his perky little voice asking, Will my arms ever be that hairy? Todd! T Todd, you're back! Uh, with groceries? It took me a while to find enough nickels and dimes, but your couch was loaded. <laughs> eggs? You bought two dozen eggs? Oh, to replace the ones you broke. Yep, why are there 12 in a dozen? <laughs> That's why Todd, always with another question. I'm just curious about stuff. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Come on. All right, Todd, let's turn things around. What are you doing? Oh, replacing the eggs, good as new. It was Todd's idea. <laughs> You're kidding. What? You think we wouldn't have already thought of that? You can't just replace the assignment eggs with new ones. <laughs> why not? That's why. It's a UV light. There are UV marks on all of the eggs. So she'd know if we were cheating. Hello, everyone. Oh, I see I have some eggs to examine. Wonderful. Thank you. Got any ideas, Todd? Because I'm listening. Did you ever notice how Mrs. Roland always puts her clipboard down in the same place? And did you ever notice how most times when you open your mouth, people get mad at you? So we understand each other. We understand each other. Mrs. Roland, mm -hmm. how come people keep saying you're coasting on your reputation? Why, what do you mean, Todd? Well, is being strict just a substitute for real teaching? Pardon? Whoa, did you know when you're angry, your forehead looks like a sneaker tread? <laughs> You are out of line, mister. Do you not like questions because you don't want to learn anymore? Exactly how closed is your mind? That's enough! <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to help. It's not my fault. No excuses! How to get gotten? First, take the trouble to get somebody else. Second, use the kid who schooled you to school your teacher. What have I done? Oh, man. We know you didn't mean to do it, Mrs. Rowland. You spent two whole days with this kid? You're not an excuse machine. You're a saint. Class dismissed. But what about our grades? Pass. Just <laughs> for now. What's going on? 
class is canceled due to unforeseen scrambling. I guess I won't be needing you anymore. <laughs> what? It's, is that? A, how come you? You never had the real egg. All those times you thought you tricked me, saw it a mile away. But you, how did you? And the look on your face when I stomped on the box? You played a joke on me? Are you mad? Are you kidding? I love it. Oh, I never thought you had it in yet. Chip off the old block. Well, will I be seeing you in eighth grade? I don't think so. Too much drama. How to decide what to be when you grow up. Deciding what job you want to have one day is one of the hardest and awesomest decisions you can make. But how can you make up your mind when you don't even know what your options are? Simple, just swing by the guidance office. Not only do they have tons of career advice, they have an unlimited supply of pamphlets. Sure, you'll learn about the usual careers. Doctor, plumber, administrative assistant, but you'll also learn about lesser known jobs like bacon finder, psychic dentist, sock broker, volcano namer, trampoline tuner, finger drummer, mustache critic, teacher teacher, uninvited guest, Big pickler, cactus whisperer, pillow stylist, crab fitter, head of steak, sadness wrangler, salad caddy, puberty coach, poker designer, store architect, history taster, phantom shellist, flan handler, boom gaffer, sneeze consultant, penguin charmer, cologne chef, urban yodeler, raisin peeler, monkey lugger, gravy boat captain, gnome wrecker, wiseacre slash smarty pants, antisocial worker, marzipanalist, and clown car chauffeur. Learn about all these jobs and more at your guidance office. Oh man, why isn't there one for Mastodon Repairman? <laughs>